Oh, this picture is so beautiful. It's so depressing. It reminds me of Tabitha and I. Well, except Tabitha is still alive, unlike Reuben here. Oh, hey, didn't see you all there. Be sure to check out NewscapePro.com. There we have two stylish face masks. One being the Tickle Monster, the other the SCP logo. We also have the SCP-999 Tickle Monster mug, level 5 key cards, and the collectible pins. Some of these supplies are limited, so be sure to act fast. That is NewscapePro.com. Link is in the description down below. All right, that does it for me. The episode is going to start. I'm going to look at this piece of art and cry. So, here we go. <laughs> why, Ruben, why? Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Albany. This is the police. Open up. Hey, I'm just here for a wellness check. Just gonna make sure everything's a-okay, and then I'll be on my way. Hello? Anyone there? Hmm. The door was unlocked. Huh. Hey, I I'm coming inside. Don't be alarmed. Mr. and Mrs. Albany, are you... Huh? Oh, no. What happened here? Huh? Is that... Is that me? Asleep. You've been asleep for a while. My name is Dr. Iceberg. It is nice to meet you. <laughs> you have a funny name. Hey, where's Corey? I'd like to see him if, if that's okay. Ah, uh, yes, Corey. I heard that he was the one that gave you your magic book. Yeah, it contains all the spells I can use. He inspired me to become a great witch one day. That's great, Sigaros. You know, you actually remind me of someone. Their name is Ruby. Ruby? That's such a pretty name. <laughs> What's she like? Oh, she's strong, intelligent, and sweet. Oh, I'd love to meet her. I mean, if I'm allowed, of course. Hmm, well, I can show you some live footage of her, if you'd like. Can you? I'd love to see her. Of course. Would you please turn to look at the monitor? Wow, she is really pretty. Is she sleeping, Dr. Iceberg? Yes, she is. She's been asleep for a while now. Oh. Well, I wish she'd wake up soon then. Hmm. <laughs> Me too. And I'm sure she will. Alright, Dr. Bright. You wanted me to do some testing? Don't you usually use D-Class for these sort of things? Yes, but Corey, you're unaffected by certain SCPs. We wanted to put that ability to the test. Now, please, take a look at me! Uh, okay, and where are you exactly? No, Corey. It's impossible to look at me. I'm currently observing you from my lab. Look at me in front of you. But, Dr. Bright, you're not in front of me. All I see is me. Okay, yeah, so you see me. No, I don't see you, I see me. What do you mean you see yourself? I'm not a mirror, Corey. I'm not saying I see myself. I'm saying I see me, me. Well, stop looking at yourself and look at me in front of you. I'm a toaster, Corey. I'm Toaster Bright. Wait, Dr. Bright? You're a toaster? Ugh, all right, that's it. We're taking a five minute break. What? Well, what am I supposed to do while I wait for you to come back? I don't know. Look at me or something. Be right back. 
What's he talking about? All I see is this toaster. All right, all right. I'm sorry I'm a bit late. Uh, Tommy, right? What did you want again? I, um, I needed permission from a higher up to be allowed into the room. Oh, yeah. Okay, gotcha. And what's in the room again? Are you serious? Oh, right, right. Your dead girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. Dr. Bright, are you sure you're a scientist? Dude, I don't know. I barely even know who you are. The only reason I do know is because that Ruby girl wouldn't shut up about you. Really? Is that true? Yeah. Jesus, it was nonstop 24-7. Tommy? Wow. Tommy's so super cute today. Tommy's so handsome. I wish I was as muscular as Tommy. Okay, that last one was just me. Seriously, dude, you look good. Tommy? Tommy, I'm an anime girl. Wee! Annoying. But I will say one thing. I really do kind of miss her. Me too. I wish we could bring her back. Huh, well, we can't. Shouldn't have gotten her killed, Tommy. Anyways, don't take too long in there, all right? I'm supposed to incinerate Ruby's body after I'm done with the testing. Uh, can't we give her, like, a proper burial? Nope. Anyways, I'm tired of talking about your problems. I gotta get back to my work. Adios. Right. I'll just say my goodbyes. W- wait Ruby? Tommy? W- what's going on? Where am I? Ruby, how- how are you alive? What do you mean? Tommy, you're kind of scaring me. I just woke up. Was I asleep for a while? No, you were dead. Ruby, what's the last thing you remember? Um... I was trying to find you after reading your letter about the Black Shuck. Wait, if you said I was dead, does that mean it chose me? But I don't understand. How am I alive then? That's, that's what I don't understand. Maybe there was an SCP that we don't know about? It's why I'm confused right now. Wait, so if the Black Shuck chose me, does that mean- Ruby, I love you. You... you do? Yeah. I've been wanting to tell you about these feelings for a long time. I just couldn't because of the Black Shuck. I... I couldn't risk losing you. And for a while there, I did. I'm so sorry. Don't apologize. I love you too, Tommy. Alright. I think the witch child worked her magic. Let's see if... Oh... Well, that was a useless experiment. Wonder what Dr. Bright- What about Dr. Bright? Oh, uh, I was just saying that- Eh, never mind. Corey, you can go. I'm pooped. Is, uh, the testing over? Yeah, I'm just annoyed about everyone's response to this test. They keep saying that they see me in that room, but I'm not even in there. What they should be seeing is me. Wait, but Dr. Bright, I don't see you. I just see a toaster. Wait, what? So you can see me in there? No, I don't see you. I see a toaster. Yeah, that's what I said. Me. Okay, look. Every time you're trying to talk about that specific toaster, you keep referring to it in first person. And you said we were doing SCP testing, and I have yet to... Oh, that's SCP-426. Yeah, great job, Corey. You're the first person to call me a me. You mean I'm the first person to refer to SCP-426 as a toaster? That's what I said, yeah. Um, okay. Well, all this talking is making me want to get some toast, so I'm gonna go. Ooh, can I come? I'm a toaster, use me. I'm Toaster Bright. Ew, no, get away. Well, it worked. Ruby is alive. 
And it's all thanks to that witch child. Now all I gotta do is put her back to sleep before anyone. Ah, Dr. Iceberg. What a strange coincidence. Ah, uh, Dr. Clef. What are you doing here? Well, uh, funny story, actually. I was just talking to SCP-239 and, uh, you see the problem there? 239 is awake. Why? I, uh... I saw the footage of you waking it up. 239 could cause the destruction of humanity in the blink of an eye. Under no circumstance should the subject ever be awakened. I know, I just... I wasn't thinking. That's not like you, Dr. Asperg. You're the last idiot I would expect to screw things up around here. I understand the error of my ways. I will take whatever consequences. No, first you tell me why you woke 239 up. What did you wish for? Oh, come now, Dr. Clef. I'm sure the boy had every reason to wake her up. After all, she's just a little girl. Ugh, and what are you doing here, Dr. Kondraki? 